All right, so thank you so much everybody for coming today. My name is Ayatoni Arrio. I am an exercise physi physiologist here at CEP. Uh, here at CEP, what we do that's slightly different for our physical activity program than uh, just going to the gym or you know just getting typical workouts is we introduce and we use something called dual tasking in our exercises. So when you think of dual tasking, you might think of multitasking. So doing something at the same time as I'm doing something else. We can use this in exercise. So while I'm exercising, let's say I'm walking in place, I might also be counting numbers backwards by threes from 100. <laughs> Easier said than done, right? And not even that easy to say. So that's just an example of something that we do here at CEP to make our exercise program slightly different than other exercise programs. So the key is we're doing resistance training, aerobic training, and we're adding that element of that dual tasking exercise, which research has actually shown to help, to positively help in brain health. So doing exercise, especially aerobic exercise, we know that we're increasing the blood flow to the brain. So studies have shown that dual tasking has even more of a positive effect to that. So we're just hitting you with lots of good things that are good for the brain here at the Cognitive Empowerment Program. And exercise is my specialty, my forte. So I hope you guys enjoy our session today. What I have planned for us today, so I brought a little bit of a topic today. What we're gonna work on is coordination, compound exercises, and dual tasking. So every time I come to CEP Community Live, what I like to do is I like to ask the audience to remember something. So I'm gonna give you three words later on in our session. And I want you to remember these words all throughout our workout. And at the end of the workout, I want you to type those three words. See if you can remember that and type it into our chat at the end. So stay tuned, pay attention for those three words. I'll let you know when it's time for that, all right? But like Matt said, Matt introduced us, he said, all we'll need is this non-rolling chair, so a chair that's non-skid, uh, something that will stay in place when you're grabbing onto it, uh, a water or something to keep yourself hydrated, and lots of open space so we can exercise safely together, all right? What we're going to do, we're going to start with our warm-up, all right, and we're going to do modifications to our exercises just so we can meet everybody at whatever level of fitness you are, so... We'll start with our warm up, a very in depth warm up, so we can get our body ready for the exercise we're gonna do. Let's start with some neck turns. So we're just gonna go side to side first. We're not holding it for too long. We're just turning side to side. And as you turn side to side, I want you guys to breathe in and breathe out. Side to side. Now, I want us to be aware of our bodies as we're exercising today. So sometimes you might not have the same exact movement that I have. And I mean that to say, you might not be able to turn your neck or raise your arm or raise your leg quite as far as I am, but that's okay. Everybody, I want you to pay attention to your body, your movements, and work within your comfortable range of motion. I'll be saying that a few times today. So your comfortable range of motion and my comfortable range of motion might not be exactly the same, but we'll still be working on those same muscle groups, all right? So that's enough side to side. Let's do up and down now, doing up and down. And this can be done seated as well. So we're just doing up and down, getting our neck nice and loose, nice and warmed up. Maybe today you've been doing a lot of sitting, so thanks for joining us. Let's get a little bit of standing, or we can still be seated and still get some physical activity. Let's do up and down three more times, down. Two more, down, and last one. All right, very good. All right, let's go back to the neck turns now. We're gonna do a couple seconds each direction. We're gonna turn and hold for three seconds. Three, two, one, and turn to the opposite side. Hold three seconds. Three, two, one, and coming back. Three seconds, three, two, one, and opposite side last time. Three, two, one. Very good. Let's do up and down. Same thing. Up. One, two, three, and down. One, two, three. Two more times. Up. One, two, three, and down. One, two, three. Last time. Up. One, 
two, three, and down. One, two, three. All right, very good. So every now and then I'll be throwing out some tips here and there. I don't get to see you guys as often as I get to see our members. So I know I want to throw a lot of information at you, but I won't throw too much. I just want to leave you, leave you guys with some tips that you get to take on with you throughout the week. And until next time you show up at our uh, Get Active session. So I want you guys to think about the muscles that we're using during the movements that we're doing, okay? So as we did those neck movements, of course, we're using our neck. So remember two things, paying attention to our comfortable range of motion, meaning we don't wanna push ourselves to a point where we're hurting ourselves. And two, just thinking about the muscle that we're using, all right? Let's move on to shoulders. So we're gonna do some shoulder shrugs. So we're shrugging up and pushing down. So we're elevating our shoulders and depressing our shoulders. Five more, down, four more, down, three more, down, two, down. And this is the last one, up and down. Very good. All right, shake out your arms. Next thing we're gonna do are some rolls. So we're gonna do shoulder rolls. We're gonna roll backwards first. So we're just rolling nice and slowly backwards. I'll turn to the side so you can see. I'm rolling down, forward, up and back, all right? Nice, slow, controlled movement. Let's do two more, one and two. Now let's add in our elbows into that shoulder roll movement. Kind of makes you emphasize that movement a little bit more. So you're shrugging up, pulling back. Three more. Two. And one, very good. Let's do the opposite direction. Let's start only with our shoulders first. So we're rolling forward now. Sometimes that feels a little bit stranger than going backwards. So again, turning to the side, I'm going forward, down, back, and up. And let's do four more. Four, three, two, and one. Very good. Now we're adding our elbows again. Four, three, two, and one. Very good, shake it out. Notice we're starting nice and slow. So we're not jumping into quick jerky movements. We're building up nice and slow. It's like starting in the car. You start the engine, you wanna start it up. You don't wanna just hit the throttle as soon as you turn the car on, right? <laughs> All right, very good. Next thing I want us to do, I want us to do an overhead arm raise. What we're gonna do is put our hand on our hip, other hand is gonna be going up and over and coming back. We're gonna do eight of these. Now, just to show you, this exercise can be done seated as well. So you're gonna have your hand on your hip again, one hand to the side and it's going up and back, all right? Let's do seven more, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Very good, we're gonna switch sides and remember this exercise can be done standing or seated, all right? Let's do eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Very good, all right, I'm gonna stand back up just to demonstrate these are able to be done seated, standing, really up to you, all right? Next thing we're gonna work on is a trunk rotation. So for our trunk rotations, I'm just gonna do a slight rotation side to side here. Make sure when doing any exercise, you're not holding your breath, you're breathing through it, all right? So we're starting this rotation, only rotating at the hips first. But in a second here, I'm starting to get a little, little bit bigger. As you can see, I'm going side to side a little bit and I'm coming up on my toes. There we go. We're rotating side to side and coming up on our toes just to get a little bit more of a rotation. There we go, rotating side to side. 
Let's do three more rotations, two more. And this is the last one. And there we go, very good. Shake it out. Let's start marching in place a little bit. Marching in place can be done seated or standing, by the way. We're just engaging our arms, engaging our legs, and we're getting warmed up, getting ready for our exercise. It's a running joke in our class that we do such an in-depth warm-up, it feels like that was the workout itself. But it's really important to get yourself warmed up before you dive into a workout, any exercise. That way your muscles are ready and they're not just, you know, thrown into a movement before it's actually ready for that movement, okay? And same can be said for doing something like moving boxes here to there. You wanna warm up the muscle that you're using first. And that warm up doesn't mean doing a nice long stretch, but more so doing something called a dynamic warm up, which is what we're doing here. We're doing dynamic movements, allowing our body to move through its natural range of motion, okay? It's comfortable range of motion. Let's walk 10 more seconds, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, very good. Next thing I want us to do, let's do some baby squats. What's a baby squat? A baby squat is going to be a squat that's not too deep. Nice shallow squat. We're just lightly activating our leg muscles, all right? I'm gonna to turn to the side just so you can see. Squat form is very important, okay? Instead of squatting down and your knees coming forward, which can lead to injury, you wanna squat and push back, okay? So you see my knees are staying sort of above my toes, okay? They're never really extending too far past my toes, especially for this baby squat. We're not going too deep at all, all right? So nice shallow squat. And all we're gonna do now is we're gonna add a little arm swing to this squat, all right? Let's do some baby squats together. Baby squats. And continue doing those baby squats. Let me demonstrate real quick. If I'm seated, we can do that kind of same motion. So I'm doing a little bit of a lean forward and an arm swing, all right? Leaning forward, pushing my weight into my knees, into my feet. I'm pushing it into the ground as I'm swinging my arms forward. So I'm gonna get back up, continue. Let's do five more baby squats. Five, four, three, two, one. Keep doing the motion now. What I'm gonna do now, we're gonna transfer into a different movement. We're going side to side now, baby squat with a side to side. I'm just coming up onto one foot and up onto the other foot. All right, keep it going. Whew. Nothing too deep. Whew. We're just warming up. All right, we're gonna change our motion again. We're gonna change our movement. Now I want us to swing up as we go side to side, still going up on my toes. We're getting that arm rotation in the shoulders. Very good, warming up the whole body, doing this full body movement here. Let's do five more, five, four, three, two, and one. Very good, keep it going. Next, we're gonna change the movement to a arm cross movement. See how I'm still going side to side though. Side to side, coming up on my toes, but doing an arm cross. Nice and easy, nothing too much. And if at any time you're feeling a bit tired, that's a-okay. Take a quick break if you need it. Grab some water, rehydrate, and jump back in whenever you're ready. We'll be here. We're all a team, we're working out together. Let's do five more of these, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, very good, very good. Let's walk in place nice and calmly. Walking in place, you're gonna see we're gonna be doing that quite a lot today. We're gonna to use something called active rest. Active rest is where in between exercises, our rest time is going to be still doing a sort of physical activity, a still doing a movement. That way we're still allowing the body to stay warm, we're burning a couple extra calories and we're getting ready for that next movement, all right? Five more seconds, five, four, three, two, one. All right, very good. Next thing, let's do some hip circles. So we're just doing hip circles. 
Nice, gentle hip circles. Doing five more hip circles. Then we're going to change direction four, three, two, one. And now let's go opposite direction. We're changing direction now. We're doing 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, very good. All right, let's do some lower body focused exercises or warm ups here. The first one we're gonna do is a side leg swing. So I'll show you from the side first, a little side view. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swing my leg side to side as I'm holding on to that non rolling chair here. That non rolling chair is holding my weight, but really I'm just resting my fingertips as I swing side to side. If it's a bit easier, maybe grabbing a wall. If you have a wall by, you want to face that wall so you can swing your leg side to side. All right. So let's do 10 side leg swings. Ready? We're going to do 10, then switch legs. Ready? I'm starting on this leg, doing 10 in three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine and 10, very good. Let's switch legs. We're going to this leg doing 10 in three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, very good. Now I want you to turn to the side so again, I'll turn my chair back this way just to show you. So instead of facing my chair now, my side should be next to the chair and we're gonna do a forward leg swing, all right? So we're doing forward leg swing again. If you're on the wall, your side should be facing the wall and we're doing forward leg swing, all right? So I have the chair to my side and we're swinging our leg ready in three, two, one. We're doing 10, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Very good. We're going to switch sides. We're doing this leg now. 10 more leg swings in three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Very good. Perfect. Shake out the legs, shake out the arms. Whew. We're just about done with our warm up. <laughs> All right. So I know it's a pretty in depth warm up, but it's very good. Who knows? Maybe this is the longest warm up you've ever done. If so, that's an achievement. Great job. <laughs> let's keep it going. All right. Let's keep walking. 10 more seconds. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Last exercise I want to do is a box lift. This is one of my favorite warm up and just exercises in general because it's a full body movement. Okay. What we're doing is a squat plus a overhead lift. So I'll turn to the side again so you see I'm squatting and I'm pushing my hips back. And then I'm lifting up overhead, all right? Again, that lifting up overhead, that upwards position is comfortable for my shoulders. But if this is more comfortable for you, that's okay. If this is more comfortable for you, that's okay, all right? The key is we want to get a squat and a lift in there, all right? Let's do 10 box lifts. And real quick, let me just show you the modified version. I'm seated. Again, I'm leaning forward, raising up over, all right? So seated or standing, let's do 10 box lifts together in three, two, one, let's go. Down, lift, two, lift, three, lift, four, lift, five, lift, six, lift, 
seven, lift, eight, lift, almost done, two more, nine, lift, last one, 10, and lift, there we go. Just like that, we have finished our warm up. Let's walk it out. Walking in place, this is our active rest. Great time to grab some water and rehydrate. As we transition over to our workout today. And guess what? I got something for you guys. So I told you there would be three words that I want you to remember. Let's see if you can remember these words. There are three colors. The colors are silver, purple, yellow. Remember those, type it in the chat at the end of the workout. See if you can remember, all right? Let's keep it moving. 10 more seconds marching in place. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, so our theme today are coordination, compound, and dual tasking exercises. All right, so we're starting it first with a modified jumping jack. Let me show what that looks like. All right, so our modified jumping jack, we're stepping out and raising our arms up, stepping out to the other side, raising our arms up. All right, that's a modified jumping jack. Because today's coordination, we're gonna do it in two parts. We're gonna do phase one and phase two for most of these exercises. So phase one, we're going side and back, side and back. Let's do phase one for now, then we'll tell the instruction for phase two once we get there. All right, let's do 10 modified jumping jacks. Each time we go both sides, that's one. We're doing 10 in three, two, one, let's go. Out, in, out, and in. That's one, out, in, out, in. Two, out, in, out, in. Three, out, in, out, in. Four, out, in, out, in, five, out, in, out, in, six, out, in, out, in, seven, out, in, out, in, eight, out, in, out, in, nine, last one, in, and out, and in, that's 10, very good, shake it out, Whew. catch your breath, and we're walking in place. Let's give ourselves about 30 seconds walking in place. And while we're walking in place, let me just demonstrate, okay? Keep walking in place. Check out these seated modified jumping jacks, modifications, all right? Out, in, out, and in. There we go, all right? So see, we can do the exercise seated or standing. So we're gonna do it together, all right? 10 more seconds walking in place, then we're gonna do phase two. Phase two in five, four, Three, two, one. All right, very good. All right, so what phase two looks like, the first phase is going to be our out, in, out, in. Now we're going to add step back and step back. All right, so all together, we're going out, in, out, in, back, and back. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna change the number of reps because that's a lot of arm work. We're gonna do six. Every time we go out, out, back, and back, that's one, and we're doing six. You ready? Let's do it. We'll take it nice and slow. Let's do this together. Seated or standing, up to you. We're going in three, two, one, let's go. Out, in, out, in. Back, back, that's one. Out, in, out, in, back, back, that's two. Out, in, out, in, back, back, that's three. Out, in, out, in, back, back, that's four, two more, out, in, out, in, back, back, that's five, last one, out, in, out, in, back, and back, there we go, just like that, phase one and two completed, let's walk in place, great job everyone, 
catch your breath. We're doing active rest or walking in place. If it's a little bit better or more fun to walk back and forth, feel free to do that too. But make sure you grab that water or that drink. Stay hydrated. Even before you think you're thirsty, go ahead and hydrate yourself. All right, let's do 15 more seconds. And we'll jump into the next exercise, all right? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, very good. Next exercise. You guys ready? Next thing we're going to do is going to be called an atlas twist. All right, let me show you what that looks like. Sometimes I call these lawnmowers. All right, what that looks like, we're going to start down to our right leg and come up to our left leg. All right, down and up, down and up. After we do one side, we're gonna do one side 10 times. Then we're gonna start on the opposite side and come up. So notice that motion, it's a cross body movement, all right? Down and to the left and up and to the right, all right? I'm mirroring you guys. So ready? Let's do our Atlas twist. We're gonna do 10 on our first side. Then we'll do 10 on the other side. That's one set. We're going to do two sets. Ready? Starting down on our first side in three, two, one, go. Down, up, two, up, three, up, four, up, five, up, six, up, seven, up, eight, up, nine, up, 10, and up. We're switching sides and go. Down, up, two, up, three, up, four, up, five, up, six, up, seven, up, eight, up, nine, up, last one, 10 and up. Very good. Whew. Let's walk it out. Walking in place, you're really engaging your full body in that exercise there. You're going from your legs, your weight is holding, your leg rather is holding your weight as you transfer the imaginary weight, the imaginary item from your leg up to the side and back. And you're engaging your core, okay? Your core is keeping you stable. It's keeping you upright and you want to engage, meaning squeeze your abs as you do that movement. All right, let's try to focus on engaging our abs in our second set. Let's do five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, so we're starting down to the side and coming up to our opposite side, engaging our core, keeping our abs tight as we do that movement. Ready? We're doing 10, then switching sides. Remember, this exercise can be done seated as well. Same thing, you're starting down to the side and coming up to the opposite side, engaging your core. Let's do it. In three, two, one, go. Down, up, two, up, three, up, four, up, really squeeze, five. Up, six, up, seven, up, eight, up, nine, up, last one, 10, and up, and we're switching sides and go down, up, two, up, three, up, four, up, five, up, six, up, seven, up, eight, up, nine, up, last one, 10, and up. Whew. Very good. And just in case you didn't realize before, now you know that you don't even necessarily need weights to get a good workout, right? I mean, I'm here, I'm sweating. How you guys feeling? Hopefully thumbs up. Whew. Let's keep it going. Let's walk in place nice and easy. Feel free and grab some water to rehydrate. Grab your favorite drink. And we're walking nice and easy, active rest. 
keeping the engine running. 15 more seconds and we'll jump into our next exercise. And five, four, three, two, one. All right, perfect. Great job, great job. Hopefully we're doing well. Let's keep it going. All right, we got a couple more exercises. Then I wanna throw in, I wanna introduce something to you guys that we do with our members here at CEP. Hopefully you guys enjoy it, but that's a little later. For now, let's keep it going. The next exercise we're going to do is called a march and reach. So what we're doing, we're doing an overhead press. So overhead press, we're pressing our arms up and back down. When you're pressing up, bring it back down to your shoulder level. But as we come down, we're bringing our opposite legs while alternating our legs as we bring our arms down. All right. Again, you want to engage your core, meaning squeeze your abs as you do this exercise. So squeeze as you bring your knees up and your elbows down, all right? Let's do 12 of these. Each time a knee comes up, that's one. We're doing 12, ready? We're doing two sets. So the first set, starting with arms up in three, two, one, go. Squeeze, squeeze. There we go, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. All right, very good. Whew. Walk it out. And we're gonna add a phase two to that exercise. It's very slightly different, our phase two. What we're gonna do is just add more of a rotation every time we bring our arms down. I'll show you guys here in a couple seconds. Let's keep walking. Remember, always feel free if you need water, even before I say it, go ahead and grab that water, rehydrate whenever you need and jump back in when you're ready. All right, five more seconds walking. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, very good. So phase two of that exercise, that overhead press march. What we're gonna do now is we're starting up still, but as we bring our knee up, I want us to try and twist side to side. All right, now let me demonstrate the modification to this exercise. All right, you're still doing the same movement. All right, you're having your arms up, you're twisting side to side as you bring your knee up towards your elbows. All right, we're doing 12. And you wanna go nice and slow. We are working on our balance a little bit while, as we do this exercise. So go nice and slow as we do that. Arms down, knees up. Ready, we're doing 12 in three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Whew. Very good, very good. Shake it off, we're walking in place again. Whew. We're almost done, keep it going. We're doing great. Getting a nice workout. It's a nice Tuesday, you didn't even have to go to the gym. We brought the gym to you. <laughs> Keep it going, we're almost done. Let's do 15 more seconds, walking in place. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, very good. Next exercise I want us to do is a squat plus an overhead reach, all right? So what that looks like, we're squatting down, and then reaching up as we come up, all right? Squatting down and reaching up. So as you squat down, I want you to squat down slowly, but come up faster than you go down, all right? So they say explode up, meaning emphasis on going upwards, all right? Seated, what we're doing here is gonna be a leg extension and up, all right? So we're leg extension 
and up, leg extension and up. All right, so seated or standing up to you. Let's do our squat overhead reach. We're doing two sets of 10 and three, two, one, let's go. Squat and reach, two, reach, three, reach, four, reach, five, reach, six, reach, seven, reach, eight, reach, nine, reach, and 10, and reach. All right, very good, shake it out, walk it out. As you reach up, coming up from that squat, it's like you're a spring. You're loading down and you're springing back, all right? Keep it going. We have 15 more seconds. And we're gonna do our next set of our squat, overhead reach. And four, three, two, one. All right, let's get to it. Get ready, we have 10 more. Ready, feet should be about hip or shoulder width apart. We're doing 10 in three, two, one, go. Squat, reach, two, reach, three, reach, four, reach, five, reach, six, reach, seven, reach, eight, reach, nine, reach, and 10, and reach. Very good. Whew. Shake it out. Instead of walking in place now, let's introduce a new cool down exercise. What we're gonna be doing is we're stepping over an imaginary object back and forth, all right? So imagine a block or maybe a small animal, maybe your dog is there and you're stepping over your dog, imaginary. We're just stepping back and forth. We're doing 15 more seconds of this. We're working on our balance as we do this. We're shifting our weight from one side to the other. And three, two, one. All right, perfect, very good. All right, next thing I want us to do, I want us, because I introduced that exercise, it actually had a purpose behind it. We're gonna do some step over type exercises, all right? So before we're stepping over and bringing our foot back together on the other side, for this exercise, we're gonna do a step over lunge one side at a time. So again, pretend like there's an object to your side. We're gonna be stepping towards this direction, all right? And watch first, what we're doing is we're stepping over one foot, loading that leg up, and then coming back. And you see my foot is going over the object and back over the object. I don't wanna slide my foot and slide back, all right? You wanna step over and come back over. Let's do six on this side, then we'll do six on the other side, ready? Doing six, going this way in three, two, one, go. One, and back, two, and back, three, and back, four, and back, five, and back, last one, six, and back. All right, very good. Let's do the opposite direction. All right, we're starting again, starting feet together, but we're stepping over and going and loading that other leg up and then coming back, making sure your foot is going up and over that imaginary object. Ready, we got six more in three, two, one, let's go. There and back, two and back, three and back, four and back, five and back, last one, six and back. All right, very good, shake it out. Let's walk it out. Give ourselves 30 seconds of rest. Now, I just wanna demonstrate a couple of things here. So continue walking in place. Doing that exercise, you can actually use a chair. That way you can actually help yourself with your bounce a little bit. 
I would say don't rely on the chair. Don't put all your weight as you step, but have that chair there more for a safeguard, okay? So you're stepping over and back. My fingers are lightly touching the chair, maybe even hovering and just nearby in case I need it. All right, so let's try that for the next set. All right, so we're back. Maybe we need to take a quick sip of water. We have the chair by us. That chair should be in front of you with enough space. And I'll demonstrate again that you can touch the chair and you're stepping over and back. All right. We're doing six going this direction first in three, two, one, and go. Step and back, two and back, three and back, four and back, five and back, last one, six and back. Very good. Going to the other side. We're stepping this direction, doing six more in three, two, one, go. Step and back, two and back, three and back, four and back, five and back, six and back. Very good. Just like that. We completed two sets, shake your legs out, shake your arms out. We're walking again, feel free, grab that water and rehydrate. We're almost done here. I got one thing to show you guys. I wanna leave you guys with this. We'll do a cool down. I'll ask you if you remember those three words and that's it, just like that. We just sped through a workout, all right? So 10 more seconds walking in place. Six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, perfect. So let me demonstrate something for you guys. So what we're gonna do is similar to what we do here at CEP. I wanted to give you guys a little teaser of it. So one of the dual tasking exercises we do are answering math problems, simple math problems, addition, subtraction. And if the answer to the problem is even, we do a specific exercise. If the answer is odd, we do a different exercise, all right? So you're remembering the exercises, you're answering a math problem, seeing if it's even or odd, and I'm doing it with you, okay? So at the very least, we're getting that exercise together, but you're really working your brain as well, all right? So let's give it a try together. I know this is the first time any of us has, have done this, but we'll give it a try. So first, if the answer to the math problem is even, we're gonna do a torso twist. So we're just twisting side to side, just like that. One twist side to side. If the answer is odd, we're doing a box lift, going down okay. and up, just like that, all right? We'll do four of these, a nice quick teaser, all right? Ready? Let's give it our best in three, two, one. All right, nine minus six. There we go, that's odd. All right, seven minus three. That's even. All right, seven plus two. There we go. That's odd on that one. Last one, six plus two. That's even, there we go. We do a torso twist. So how did you do? It's easier said than done, all right? But with those type of dual tasking exercises, you're working your mind in a different way than just doing that motor or that physical component of that exercise. Again, that's what sets us apart. We're doing something a little bit more than just doing your exercise. We're working on your body, working on your mind and your muscles at the same time. All right, let's do a quick cool down. Let's do our upper body stretch real quick. Let's take our arm across our body. Let's hold that other arm or hold our arm with our other hand rather. Let's hold it in place for 10 seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Very good. Switch. 10 more seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
One, very good, release, shake it out. Next, have your hand on your hip, other hand is free. We're doing that overhead arm stretch. Hold on for 10 seconds. Four, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, three. Switching sides. 10 more seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Coming back. All right, let's do a lower body stretch. This can be done seated or standing. I'll show you guys seated real quick. You're seated at the front edge of your chair. You're extending one leg forward. Your toes are pointed upwards and you're stretching forward. You should feel that stretch in the back of your leg. All right, you're gonna hold it for 10 seconds. If we're standing, we're doing that same thing. Extend that same leg, reaching forward and let's hold it together. 10 seconds, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Coming back up, we're switching legs, stretching and hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Coming back up. And with that, everyone, round of applause for you guys. You just knocked out another workout. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for having me and allowing me to work out with you. And I want you guys to go ahead and see if you remember those three words. Go ahead and add it into the chat. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let's see if you guys get the three words. Again, my name is Ayatonio Rio, exercise physiologist here at CEP. And remember, we're not just doing exercise for no reason. That's actually the number one thing that you can do for brain health. All right. Thank you so much, everyone. Until next time, I appreciate you. Thanks, Tony. Great workout. See a lot of uh, correct answers out there. And um, I did see a few questions and comments come in. These were like kind of towards the beginning of the workout. It might have just been like a late one right before you started, Tony. But we did have a few questions about um, that. Uh, where CP was held. So I mentioned that we're in Executive Park 6 in Atlanta, in the Druid Hills area. Um, it's a building over from um, Executive Park 12, which is where the Emory Cognitive Clinic is, if, if anyone's ever been there before. Um, in addition, someone also asked how they can find out about all the Emory research being offered. Um, that's a great question. I'm going to see if there's any sort of website that would have a lot of our research. Um, Emory does, and especially in the in the Emory cognitive clinic world, is that in the Emory neurology world, we do have a lot of research going on, like a lot, a lot. So um, getting a, a complete list might be difficult, but I'm gonna look uh, into that to see if we can have at least a website with all of our major websites. Um, one other thing to add though, is that if you are plugged into the Emory cognitive clinic, talking to your clinician um, would uh, like a, either your neurologist or maybe a nurse uh, that works in the cognitive clinic might be able to help is because almost all of the, at least larger studies at Emory Neurology recruit through the cognitive clinic. So usually the clinicians there are really plugged into a lot of the, the, the larger studies going on at least. Um, and yeah, I see a lot of great answers. Uh, does anyone have any other questions for Ayatoni? It is four o'clock, so we are coming to our end. Um, so I will say that uh, I'm going to end it here, but I'm going to keep the link open for just for one more minute if anyone has any last minute questions. And I look forward to seeing everyone next week. Let me look up what we have tentatively planned for next week. Hold on one moment, everyone. Um, next week, we have Tai Chi. So we're going to be joined by Tina. We're going to be doing a Tai Chi workout. And then, like I mentioned, and I'll be sending out an email about this, but um, the weekend after that, so two weeks from now, that's going to be the week of Thanksgiving, and we're not going to be having our uh, this webinar. But we'll be back in early December, and we'll be off again during uh, Christmas time. So um, yeah, thank you guys all for CEP. Oh, yes. Hold on. I think I posted that, but I'll post it one more time. 
So if you are struggling to set up an appointment at the Emory Cognitive Clinic, um, if you give our, our study a call, we might be able to help you. But again, all referrals have to go through the con Cognitive Clinic, but I'm gonna post that phone number one more time. So that's 404-712-5555. And that's the phone number for our research study. And we can help you, um, give you the proper information if you need any extra help um, setting up that clinical appointment for the referral. Okay. Well, I want to thank everyone for coming. And um, yeah, so feel free to drop off. I'm going to keep this open just for one more minute just in case there's any last minute questions. Thanks, everyone. Bye.